A federal jury convicted a Granbury man of the most serious charge related to the Capitol rioting. Stuart Rhodes was convicted of seditious conspiracy, a charge that has not been prosecuted since 1995. Rhodes and four other defendants were all on trial at the same time for plotting to stop the transfer of power. But just one other defendant was convicted of the highest charge. The others received lesser convictions. Fox 4's David Centendry takes a look at what that might mean moving forward. David. Well, Rhodes' attorneys believe this nearly two-month-long trial was a fair trial. However, they did tell reporters tonight, had it been tried outside of Washington, D.C., where the Capitol riot took place, they believe the outcome may have been different. Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes from Granbury, southwest of Fort Worth, is now convicted of seditious conspiracy, the most serious charge related to the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Rhodes' attorneys spoke outside a Washington, D.C. federal courthouse Tuesday following the verdict. Um, it goes without question, we're disappointed. Federal prosecutors say Rhodes led a plot that began shortly after the 2020 election to wage an armed rebellion to stop the transfer of power. And while Rhodes never actually went inside the Capitol, jurors heard recordings and saw encrypted messages in which Rhodes rallied followers. He warned of a possible bloody civil war and expressed regret that Oath Keepers didn't bring rifles to the riots. Rhodes testified during his trial, telling jurors there was no plan to attack and insisted his followers who went inside the Capitol went rogue. There was no way that we could keep him from taking the stand. Rhodes' attorneys say that was one of two conditions he had when he hired them. Never take a plea deal, and we could never keep him off the stand. Rhodes wasn't the only one on trial. There were four other co-defendants. One of them, Kelly Meggs, the leader of the Florida chapter of the Oath Keepers, was also convicted of seditious conspiracy. But three others were cleared of that charge, instead convicted of obstruction of Congress. I think the government was trying to send a message Former U.S. Attorney Richard Roper says the seditious conspiracy charge is rare. In fact, Rhodes and Meggs are the first ones in nearly three decades to be found guilty of the rarely used Civil War era charge. I wouldn't be surprised that there'll be some kind of cutting edge issues that might be raised in appeal. Rhodes plans to appeal, according to his attorneys. However, experts say appeals are very rare, especially in a situation as rare as this. I want to point out that that charge of seditious conspiracy holds a sentence of up to 20 years in prison. Steve, Heather, back to y'all. Okay, David Centenary, live tonight. Thanks.